Welcome. We're blessed to share another day and think about it. I'm so glad to have you. Today, we're going to talk about a unique word, double-minded. Double-minded. It's an interesting word because it's only used in the book of James. Verses 1-8, chapter 1, verse, verse 8, chapter 4, verse 8. And we're going to look at it. <laughs> there are some who really believe that James actually coined the phrase, the word. It's the only place that is used, double-minded. Taken at um, its root without, without really knowing what it means, it, it, it might seem like it's a great advantage. Hey, double-minded. Man, I, I can process more things. Um, would, you know, as much as I have to do in the day and the life, uh, two minds would be pretty great. It's actually very negative. And it, it's a problem that a lot of people have, and especially church members, people in the kingdom of God. Double-minded centers around being a person who's undecisive. Double-minded is a person who vacillates, who's back and forth, who just refuses to make a decision. It's almost as if your indecision is a decision to be indecisive. <laughs> is to, I, I, I don't want to be decisive. I, I, I want to vacillate. It leaves me more room to fluctuate. It leaves me more room to, uh, to maybe do the things I want to do. Now, now, in other passages of Scripture, James specifically calls this double-mindedness. In other passages of Scripture, Jesus would say things like, you can't serve two masters. You can't have them both. You can't have an allegiance to two things. You can't be indecisive. You can't vacillate. It's really a weakness that James called double-mindedness. So in verse James 1.8, it says, a double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. Anyone that refuses to be decisive is then unstable in every area of his life. Wow. If you refuse to make a decision, if you refuse to be a person who can make a decision and stick to it or decide that you're going to commit to something, then it affects every area of your life. Job, family, relationships. You're indecisive. Therefore, being a wavering person, you're indecisive in every area of your life. And um, it has a very negative connotation to it. And James was saying, you can't be a believer and and a consistent doubter. Make a commitment to something. Now look at 4.8, James 4.8. Draw nigh to God and he would draw nigh to you. Cleanse your hands, ye sinners, and purify your hearts, ye double-minded. People who don't want to make a decision. An indecisive person is not a person you can depend on. It's not a person that you can build a foundation on. Can your family, friends, colleagues, can they build a foundation on you? Are you a person that they can trust to be who you are? Jesus said this to the Pharisees. He says, you clean the outside of the cup. Oh, you're so religious about making sure you're pure. But he said on the inside, it's full of wickedness. He says, how foolish is that when God made the outside and the inside? So being indecisive is, is not living your life in the image of God. We need to be able to make decisions and make commitments and stick to those commitments based on what we know and what we under, understand because a double-minded man is unstable in all of his ways. So my question to you is, can you be dependent upon whether you make a decision that people like or dislike? Can you be dependent upon to make a decision. 
Or are you simply vacillating and wavering and jumping from one thing to another because that way you don't have to be decisive. But the truth of the matter is you've decided to be indecisive, double-minded. Think about it.